Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire. As you we wish. are going to head to the west. Or to the left, anyway. It's a rogue. I imagine he probably Why? realizes that we're here. Let's go steal from him. Hey, you want to fight? Uh, hello? Just nothing. Just not, not a lot. All right, uh... I don't think I can get in there. I see something. Oh, look at that. We have some creepy dude over here. There we go. What moss? What's with the weird thing with the eyeball and the... I... Uh, okay. Alright, well, we made it into this room. There is a rogue. He is over there. He is unharmed. Oh, he's got friends. Oh boy. I feel like I may have uh, miscalculated exactly how easy this was going to be. And by maybe, I mean I most assuredly miscalculated exactly how easy this was going to be. Alright. Adair, do you have anything cool? Well, Adair's there. Sorry, I meant a uh, lot. Do you have anything cool you can do? Just kind of the basic stuff. Oh, good. We have more people coming from behind and attacking us. That's not going to be great. Well, um, I agree. The presence distracts foes in the area. It seems like it could be good. In other news. Uh, Shouty's gonna to have to do something cool here, and hopefully we all survive it, because it's looking bad. Uh, let's see, you can do a penetrating strike. Potentially, okay. Kinda worked. Okay, I can now do other horrible things. We're going to have you go attack the spell blade. Adair, where, where are you, buddy? What are you, why are you here? Oh, because the rogue moved over. So much for you. Alright, we're feeling okay. A little soul siphoning going on here. Fine, probably. Shouty's gonna do that. Captain Poopy Pants over here doing this. A little bit with the, the hobbling. Alright, we're gonna try to take you on. It is not really working, but everybody else can do this. Show T, why don't you get there and give us a little bit of love this way? And you can throw a heal. No prisoners. Well, I thought you could. Maybe you can't throw a heal, I guess. Possibly. Alright, another beam of, of joy. Okay, we did that. Our poor puppy is down, but eh, our compatriot will be down here. Our, our nemesis, our enemy, whatever you want to call him. He should be going down pretty soon, too. Let's knock this guy down with a mule kick. I said mule kick. Take him. It's not really working. You guys should probably be attacking at this point. I'm just saying. And I feel like... Maybe Mind Blades would be pretty good. Alright, 
Alright, well he's probably dead. There it is. Aloth, more missiles, my friend. Shouty, maybe heal yourself. And then maybe you can knock him down because you seem to just fail at this all of the time. He still has not landed a single mule kick. Like, what? Nope, just doesn't. A powerful attack that knocks enemies into the air, then prone, leaving them disoriented. You say that, and yet we have been incapable of doing this. Well, don't see why not. Literally the entire time. What's up, buddy? Can we knock the rouge up in the air? Taste this. <sighs> Alright, time to spawn my little my little baby here. Knock him into the sky. I like how everybody's literally just standing there. Done and done. They're all like, I wonder if I wonder if they're gonna win the fight. Alright, we're calling this the all-in play. Huh. The Rouge lived. Take down the Rouge. Defeat the Rouge. I literally mean all of you. Don't just stand there, guys. It's it's okay. All right. Sure. I'll see. So no one ended up dying a horrible death. I I'll take that as a win overall. Thief's putty. I wonder what that is. Do you, do you use it? Like, how does that work? Oh, it's... Okay. It's a quick item. Alright. Nice and quiet. Alright, what does this say? It's doing it again. Oh, God. Game? Hello? It's giving me some grief here. I want to look at the map. Or, or not. That's fine. I didn't really want to look at the map. I mean, I did. Absolutely really wanted to look at the map. Shouldn't I be able to left click to move? Nice and quiet. Leave it to me. Nutshells lie scattered amongst the ashes on the floor of this warm fire. My fingers be fat and furry. Uh, sure. Swapped in sparkling, Captain. Grant, okay. Grant's a leap. Really? I will take that and I will enjoy it. Possibly. I don't know who I'm going to put it on, but... I'm sure it'll go on somebody. And it will be great. Fingers be nah. Furry, but they're ever so nimble. There's no point in uh, unlocking that since we've already done the thing over this way. Well, I imagine this guy's not, these guys here weren't happy that we got into a fight. I wonder if this guy's okay now, or if he's gonna be like super angry that we've done this thing. Ah, he seems fine. Back down to court. I guess that's that's it, really. There's nothing else. We kind of killed everybody. And cleared out all the stuff. In a very messy, bad sort of fashion, of course. But it worked. It worked. Alright, I'd like to take a look. At a great many things. I'd like to see who could use the boots. 
I feel like a lot of people could. Of evasion. I think we're going to put it on you, though. Shouty's going to use them. What do I have? I don't know what those do exactly, but that's fine. Grant's leap. What can I do you for? So she can now leap. How far can she leap? Oh, that's cool. Sure thing. All right, I'm a fan. I am a fan of how all of that went down. I mean, I suppose we could go back to the... There's a few places we could still go, I think, in here. For Deadlight, I don't think that's where we need to go. Maybe. These guys have all cleared out once they stole the ship. I don't be supposing. We could go back to the prison, Either. too, probably. Easy, easy the dungeons, yeah. There were some people down here that we didn't murder. Uh, we do still get experience from murdering people, right? That's that's a thing that still happens. Let's hope. Because I remember in Pillars of Eternity 1, you only got experience from murdering people, well, creatures, really, up to a certain point, and then once you, you murdered enough of them, that was it. Like, that was the end of it all. Uh, no, we're, we're, we're fine. We can open the door. Guard dogs are there. They're all like, hey, what's up? We just, like, walk past them. Some guard dogs. But yeah, you would go and you would get, like, a certain number of kills. And then that would uh, unlock uh, bestiary uh, things. Lost another crew to the floating hangman, did we? Anybody at all want to play? No? And let us walk around, do whatever we want. Alright. Well, I mean... Now that all's said and done, I mean, we can probably just leave. Let's go see what's over here. Supposing we could uh, blow it up. We could, easy, but we easy, could just unlock it, too. What's up, guys? I'm gonna take everything here. You guys just watch your words, I'll let you open, really. Heard of the floating hangman's got another crew. You look like a shark if I ever saw one. I do. I do look like a shark. I'm half shark, all amazing. Wait, what? I don't know. It's fine. Yeah, there's... I was gonna say, we're pretty much done. I don't really see anything else to do at this point. Hi and welcome. Hee hee hee. Okay. What's up, guys? I'm just gonna steal some more of your stuff. Hopefully you're cool with that. Alright, have fun. It's been awfully quiet. Yeah, it has. Do you want to know why? Because I murdered everyone. And you're next. Alright, um... So we'll go back to the court. That's probably the, the way. Anyway, we're going to get off this wretched island, finally go back. Turn our quest in. I'm not sure where we're going to turn it in to, but we are going to turn it in. I'm actually going to come right back down because I don't know what that was. There's a whole bunch of stuff in that room that I didn't loot. Bad Bumpy is bad. Alright. I'm ready to fight anybody who wants to fight me. I say that. I mean, it's obviously not true. Like, there's going to be people that can murder me very easily. Well, you know how you were sort of, kind of, not exactly the most nice person ever? I just stole all your food. Got to cook a big face for Ben's farewell. Out with you. Well, guess what? Ben's farewell is... It's... Well, maybe that's what you're talking about. Like... He, he's he done been done and now you're gonna be yeah yeah that makes sense in a world command how do I get out of here I want to get back to just the 
There, that. That's where I want to go. Back to old Fort Deadlight. And then we just leave. Then it'll be like, well, 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 what do we have here? You want to leave? You must pay the pirate tax. But like, yeah, no, Ben with already play, paid with his, his ugh, so he can't talk. Ben with already paid with his blood. We don't have to do anything at this point. And we said good day, sir, and then we just leave. That's really how all this goes. All right, to port. Why would Ben set sail before Adelus gets back? Uh, Adele's Adelus, Adelus, I don't know, whatever her name is. Or his name. Oh, wait for it. Wait for it. All right, so we did that. Uh, journal. Basic provisions. I need my ship stocked. Blah, 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 blah. Free the better man. Hmm. Helping hands. Blow the man down. Okay. He resides on the isle the island of Dunnage. Do we know where the Isle of Dunnage is? Way up that way. I don't know that I'll be heading there right away, but I will be. I I, I just decided. That is actually where we're going. I feel like our people aren't super thrilled. I sort of ding ding. Can I land here? No. To the ship deck? Oh, we can do that? Is there a reason to? Or we just can't get like the top down view where we can move all over? No? No? Okay. Huh. Okay. I mean, I have no use to do this at, at this point, but it's there. It's a thing we could do. I, I don't... I, oh, that's just the arrow again. Of course, makes sense. I'm sure we could probably talk to a few different people if we absolutely needed to or wanted to, but... Eh. Take a look at the map. Well, we are heading in the general direction that we need to be heading. Oh, there's an abandoned village over here. Alright, exploring time. This very possibly could go very poorly for us. Just kind of an FYI. Between failed settlements and discarded Juana villages, the Deadfire Islands are spotted with promising ruins. Yeah, they are. Let's go. What? Seriously? You discover a small village nestled in a hillside. It is silent save for the whistle of wind through open windows. As you near, you find the bodies of long-dead kith on the streets, their bones cracked and scored with teeth marks of large beasts. Search. Okay, we got some fire kelp. And that was it, huh? It's not all that impressive, honestly. Navigation view. Click on known location drop down list to bring up a list of places you have discovered. You can search for a location by name, travel faster in deep water, slower in shallows. Oh, there's Dunnage. Alright, we're going. It's definitely kind of a a side mission, or at least it seems that way. And probably not where we should have gone first. Shame I weren't at that animancy trial. My mind would have cut Theos's plot to bloody ribbons. Indeed, it's a wonder we ever stopped Theos without you. Hmm. Don't let it discourage, lad. Odd wager silver you can keep up. How generous of you. Well, aren't they just friendly with one another? That Did can't you catch be you, the new play by the peg leg performers yet? It's awful. The green menace? That I did. Made me want to poke out my eyes. Indeed. Can't be who I think it is. What's up, Udita? Send me for a butt slice of hard sack. It's... It's you, ain't it? 
Uh, mm -hmm. The pale elf squints at you and puffs on her pipe. Acrid smoke from the bowl wreathes her face. Uh, MC, clap your hands, Captain of the Defiant, at your service. Uh, do I know? Of course you? not. But I know you like I know the curve of my eleventh toe. She winks and shuffles closer. Well, that's weird. The Watcher, captain of a mighty ship, god chaser and fiend slayer. Yeah, must seems... be expensive sustaining a reputation like that, eh? Yeah. Yep, MC, clap your hands. That's me. She rubs her fingers together. I'll keep it quick, see? If your little dinghy has got some choice uh, in it, I've got a list of captains with a black mark to their name whose ships need a quick scuttling. And I'm in the market for a scuttler. She sticks the pipe in the side of her mouth and grins, showing a mouthful of yellow teeth. You're offering me a bounty. Where do I start? What makes you think I'd be interested? You read me like a book, you do. Then let's talk business, eh? She cracks her knuckles and grins. You'll be looking to scuttle Cornu first, one of Rawatai's finest, eh? I don't ask my client what he did or what scale his death balance is. Safer to keep questions in the hold. Okay, sure. Of course you will. Now's a good opportunity when you seize it. Cornu helms a Voyager early muster in the waters north of Nekataka and south of Sayuka. Okay. Before I go, I had some questions. Have on. Uh, where do your bounties come from? She takes her pipe from her mouth and glances away, sighing through her nose. <sighs> Better if you don't ask. In that case, why not? Because the dead fire's in a big, ugly power play, it is. And not everyone gets quartered for being in the game. Okay. One captain, she's a piece, standing 20 rounds distant from the real players. Another, he's a means to some unknowable end. Who's to say why they both need to die? She gestures with her pipe in a broad circular motion. And the type of clients he pays for the red worker scuttling. They don't blow the gaff to the elf. Okay, she points first to you and then back to her before wedging the pipe back between her teeth. Alright, well, thanks. I suppose. Oh, there's so many things happening. Alright, so that's a way out. That's a way out. A whole bunch of people. Still some stuff to loot. Uh, ghost ships and gods, if or as if ship hunters alone weren't bad enough. What's up, Kay? You find a woman of early middle years, dressed fine, if dirty, armor adorned. Okay. With bright purple piping, a pair of long scars bisects her brow and jaw. Though she stands at ease, a nervous energy thrums through her. Fair day, traveler. She grins broadly, a joyful twinkle lighting her eyes. Anything I can do for you, just say the word. Tell me about yourself. Lady adventurer at your humble service. I was born in a deer and raised in the field, and there's nary a crevice of this archipelago I haven't seen. The field? I... The living lands most off, but the dead fire as well of late. And my goodness, if you think the dead fire's wild, I must say, it's no more thrilling than a lady of luxury's afternoon luncheon in comparison to the glorious madness of the living lands. Okay. Being a cipher's come in quite handy, I'll tell you that. Do you often get into trouble then? Oh, dear me, yes. Can't seem to avoid it. Not a lick of it's my fault, of course. It's the university. Always sending me to the most dangerous corners of Aeora, the skimps. <laughs> if I didn't know better, I might say they were trying to kill me. There's not other way to rid themselves of a tenured professor, after all. She laughs. Okay. Well, did you get any good stories out of it, at least? Oh, aye, aye. Some you wouldn't right believe. Like the time I lost part of my ear here, see? She pulls back her hair and shows you her mangled ear. Looks like something had a good chew on it. Lost an entire research team along with the ear. Rather a long day, that was. My colleagues have implied I might be cursed, but I can't say I much agree. It's just the nature of the work, you understand. I mean, goodness, if you want a lady to find you the rarest plants, you gotta send her to the most remote places. It's true. On my last expedition, my colleague Ennis got herself lost looking for what was essentially a big prickly weed. 
no medicinal use at all. I found her, though, mostly intact, even. A blessing from the living lands, I call it. Aye. Jeez. But I do go on, don't I? She laughs gaily, a hand splayed across her chest. Uh, could you teach me what you've learned in your time exploring the living lands? With pleasure. Teaching is my specialty, after all. I'm gonna pack your brain with so much knowledge, you're gonna have a headache for a week. All I need from you is 3,000 copper. Well, that's interesting. Okay, so we can get enhanced stealth. We can enhance stealth and metaphysics, rather. Uh, no, not right now. That's your prerogative, I suppose. Come back if you change your mind. That's interesting, though. That's that's a new thing. All right, I think I'm going to break it off here. We'll talk with Carlo and various other people in this little section of town before we head off into whatever's next in the next episode. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.